Today is the day for DAX and I'm going to discuss some really awesome and interesting DAX tricks. Without any further ado, let's start. All right, trick number one, very, very simple. I'm working with this pivot table. We have the calendar year, the month, the total sales, and we also have calculated the sales for last year. Now, oftentimes it's going to happen that you are doing a certain calculation, but the calculation is spilling to other cells where you do not want to show the calculation. Please take a look. Here, the last year calculation is showing me a couple of numbers here, but they are meaningless because I don't really have anything to compare it against. That means the current year sales is missing. So I would want to restrict my calculation to only show where the current year is present. How do I do that? I'm going to go over and open up my last year sales calculation. Now, the way that you generally would do that is that you would add an if condition at the start of it. And something that you would write is something like this. So you're going to say if total sales is not equal to blank and then you are going to do this particular calculation which is right here however the trick is that there is no need of writing the not equal to blank to check that part even if you just mention the total sales part without writing that it is not equal to blank it is going to mean the same thing in power bi take a look if i just delete that and still commit to the formula press enter it still shows me the correct answer and all the other months where the sales was not present have been removed awesome all right, trick number two, really, really interesting. Here is a simple pivot table that I'm working with. We have the product, we have the price, we have total sales, total units, and some dummy cost mentioned right here. And we've applied two simple filters right here, 2011 and the month of Jan. Now the logic for calculating cost is something like this. I'm checking if the cost happens to be, sorry, if the sales happens to be the number as zero, that means no sale happened, it was a free product. In that scenario, we give a blanket cost of 100. If there was some sales that happened, then we give 50% of that as a cost number. So to do that, I have written this very simple measure right here. And I'm saying that, hey, if the sales is zero, then give it a blanket number of 100. If the sales is something else, then why don't you take and multiply that with 0.5%? Not a problem. The problem, however, in this measure is that once this measure is dragged to the pivot table, you're going to see that this measure even starts to work when the product did not sell and the sales was blank, not zero, but blank. Take a look. Here is the beard oil and that particular product did not sell in this particular month right here. And because the sales was blank, not zero, it still treated that blank as a zero and attached that 100 blanket number to this particular calculation, which is definitely not right. Now, what do I do in my DAX to be able to figure this out and, you know, treat zeros differently and treat blanks differently? What I can do is I can do something like strict equals, strict equals. How do I do that? I'm just going to come here and instead of writing one equals to sign, I'm just going to write two equals to sign. This simply means that please strictly check that is that equal to a zero or not, not a blank, but strictly equal to a zero. And once I do that, you're going to see that this blank, sorry, this 100 that was right here, it just disappeared. And we just have one single 100 because this is strictly equal to zero. Awesome. All right, trick number three. Now to be able to explain this trick, I have to tell you about a problem that I have run into, explain you what the problem is, then I'll tell you how to solve that problem. Please take a look. Again, working with a simple pivot table, we have the calendar year, the month, and the commission paid. Now here you can take a look that everything looks fine, but at the start of the pivot table, there happens to be a blank with this number as zero. I really don't like it and I want to get rid of this. This is awful. Now. The first thing that I have to do is I have to understand that why this blank appeared in the first place. So let me just take you through the sales table and help you understand a bit of the data here. So we are working with uh, a simple sales data. In the sales data, you're going to find that we have two different columns. We have the date column, which is when the sales happened and the payout column, which is when the commission on that particular sale was paid out. And you can see that there are a bunch of blanks right here. These blanks simply means that the commission hasn't been paid out as of yet. So there are blanks. Now, this particular uh, affiliate payout date, which is right here, has been linked to my calendar date as a secondary relationship or an inactive relationship. Take a look, the primary relationship between the sales and the calendar table is nothing but the date here and the sales date. But th we have also linked uh, the affiliate payout date through this dotted relationship, which is the, F which is the inactive relationship. All right. And then I go ahead and I calculate this particular measure, which is uh, total commission. And I apply that inactive relationship on the calendar date and the affiliate payout date using the use relationship function. Now, in case you don't really know about the use relationship, you can take a look at another video that I have done and you'll probably understand that. All right. Now, why does the blank happen in the first place? The blank happens because 
okay right here once the filter for 2011 and the month of jan comes to this particular pivot table through this dotted relationship not a pivot table but the sales table comes to the sales table with this dotted relationship it finds that in the affiliate payout date column there are values that it doesn't recognize in the calendar table there are no blanks there are all consecutive dates but in the affiliate payout date there are blanks that the model doesn't know how to treat so what it does is it collects all those blanks because blanks do not have any commission payout it just collects all of those and marks it against a zero which you tend to see up right here how do we solve this what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our commission paid calculation and we're going to write an extremely simple check right here now you could write something like affiliate payout date not equal to blank and that will do well but you could also just mention the name of the column and that is also going to do well this mentioning the name of the column simply means that please get rid of any empty values and only work the calculation out for the filled values or the values which are present and if i now commit to this particular function you're going to see that the blank disappears and we have a neat and clean pivot table in front of us awesome all right that was all about it i hope you found these tricks helpful in your day-to-day -day attacks in case you have any questions around this, please feel free to drop in a comment and I will be glad to reply. In the end, a big shout about my uh, Power Query and my DAX training programs in case you're starting out with Power BI and you'd like to build solid fundamentals first and then start to solve really difficult, challenging DAX or Power Query problems, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be super, super awesome. Thanks so much for sticking around and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers and bye.